y'all what's up it's jessica welcome back to my channel and thank you guys so much for tuning in today so today's video is going to be a demo slash review of the kim kardashian west kkw um contour kit i did purchase it i've been seeing this all over social media and what intrigued me most about this product is the fact that there is something dark enough for me to work with. Now I don't keep up with the Kardashians. I didn't even know this dropped until the night before. I was on Instagram on the Explore page and I seen a picture of contouring and I'm a complexion junkie. I love complexion products. So when I looked on the page, they did have a girl who's dark and she was able to contour with their product. So I was like, okay, Jessica, just give it, just test it out. See how you like it. And so I set my alarm the next morning and bought the product and I kept going back because I did not know which kit to get. I didn't know whether to get the the dark or the deep dark. I was so confused. So I bought the dark, like hurried up and bought the dark because I thought they were going to sell out. The fair and medium sold out really, really fast, but I noticed that the dark and deep dark was still just lingering there. It took a minute for the dark and the deep dark to uh, sell out and my theory is because we were just trying to figure out, does this really gonna work for our skin tone? Like even though you guys have a black model, is it really gonna work? So I think a lot of us brown girls were kind of leery as to, okay, Kim Kardashian was really good with the product. So I did buy this to kind of share with you guys uh, my unbiased opinion and see if it's gonna work for me, all right? So without further ado, let's dive into the video. First things first, here is the packaging for the contour kit. Comes in this plastic bag. I mean, I get better packaging at Sephora from products that I actually use all the time. For $48, it retails for $48 and I paid like 50 something because it was like $8 and some change for shipping. This is not a $50 contour kit, like I'm just being honest. Okay, so when you open it up, you get this packaging. So like I said, again, the packaging compared to the price, it does look cheap, I'm not gonna lie. It looks like something you can get from like those Japanese slash Korean uh, little stores. Like that's what it honestly looks like to me. It would have been really cute if she had like a really cute box and like when you opened it up, it was like her picture there and then the products had their own little slot. Like something like that for the price would have been, it. I would have liked that better. Here are, the items that you get within your kit you get this brush it's a dual brush so it has like this kabuki side and then it has the sponge side and then you get your contour and highlight this is the shimmer highlight right here and then it has the matte concealer on the other end so this was the contour stick it has a dark one and a number two I'm thinking one is for like your complexion the other is the contour but I could contour with both of these because none of these are my complexion. They're a little bit deeper. One thing that I did notice on the reviews that I did watch, I watched like three reviews and the sticks broke on every single one of those videos. Now, if I'm paying 50 something dollars for a concert kit or for anything, I don't want the item to break. My foundation is already on my face. I'm going to demonstrate it under my eye only because if you're realistically buying this kit to highlight and contour and this is all you have, then you're going to conceal under your eye. You know what I'm saying? So it should work under your eye regardless of what they have shown on the model. It doesn't say don't put it under your eye. So I'm gonna test it out. So we're not gonna break this, okay? We're not gonna break this. Add my concealer. I'll start right here. Actually, I'm, I'm kinda scared. I'm gonna start on the bridge of my nose. This is a shade I normally would not do. It's like a, like a peach shade and I don't really do this shade I do more of a like a yellow golden this I'm scared y'all I'm not gonna even lie thankfully I don't have to go anywhere today because if this don't work out I'm not trying to be outside looking looking crazy and I'm gonna put it under my eye so when you're putting concealer under your eye, you really do not want creasing. You don't want the product to start moving around. You really want it to stay put and you want it to blend well. Otherwise, it's just gonna look a hot mess. I will say that it glides on super easy. Like, it's extremely creamy. It glides on really, really smooth, which is good. But what that blend look like though? It comes with the 
kabuki and the sponge I'm gonna attempt to use the sponge because it comes with it and we spent 50 something dollars girl so we're gonna make this sponge work I'm gonna spray it with max fix plus so I'm gonna start with my chin it's blending out it's blending out yeah it's blending okay I was worried because the videos that I watched um, it wasn't blending with the sponge but I will say it does move the product around like it does move it around it's not like the beauty blender where it just blends it in place without taking the product off this sponge I feel like the texture of it lifts product like if you can look there's product all on here so it lifts the product off it's blending but it's not like the best blend ever but if this is all you had I feel like you probably would be able to get away with this I'm actually not gonna I'm gonna use my finger for this part now up here like my forehead I'm a little scared with the blending because it has to blend right otherwise it's gonna look crazy Let's try this let's hope for the best guys it's like yeah no mm -mm. so what I'm noticing on the forehead is that it's not blending as easy as it was maybe because it sat here longer I'm like dabbing I'm trying to see if that might work if I dab it's moving the product around and it's not blending out nicely so this tool while it's super small cute and petite just like me it's not doing the job I'm gonna take my beauty blender and just try to blend that out you definitely will need your beauty blender when using this product because the sponge is just too small and I don't feel like it's efficient enough like maybe for under eye I'll try it because it's small enough to do like on your chin here but like for your your forehead you need something with a little bit more depth to it like this and there you go it blends out so much better with the beauty blender all right so I'm gonna use this for under eye because it is small let's see what it does uh, uh, no no it's not doing it it's just like dancing on top of the on top of the concealer it's not even moving girl I'm going to need this to move, so I'm going to use my beauty blender. Oh, the beauty blender is not even doing it. I don't think this is the type of product to, uh, to sit in place. I think this is something that you're supposed to work with, like, as soon as you put it on, you blend out that area. Normally what I do is allow my concealer to um, kind of like marinate if you will under my on my skin that way it blends easier but this bad boy right here no she's not she ain't here for that you literally have to work as you go so like you apply the product and then you blend the product she's not gonna let you cook she she not she's hungry she's like fast food you gotta like work with her right away it's not even trying to blend out under my eye dog you see like this right here it's not trying to blend out it's literally a patch of peach. I'm not understanding. I'm not understanding this. I literally feel like I'm like low key beating up the under eye. Okay, so if that one didn't blend, I'm so scared of this side. Oh God. Oh my God. Yeah, this is like the hardest concealer I've ever had to blend out in my life. I've never had this issue before. Nope, this bad boy is not going anywhere. So as you can see, there's like a patch. See that? See that patchy look right there? Yeah, I'm not here for that at all. So that was a fail. Um, let's contour. For real, $48. This is literally like all you get. That's all. There's two shades on here, and I believe they are numbered. I'm gonna use shade one shade one is a little lighter than shade two shade one i'm going to which is the lighter shade i'm going to put that as my nose contour it's a little dark but uh yeah 
that's crooked. This is a true ashy brown, so perfect for contouring. I do love the formula. I love how, how creamy it is. It glides on super, super smooth. You know what I noticed, actually? The contour is a little bit more creamy and more workable than the concealer shade, that matte concealer shade that I use, because that was so hard to blend. But this formula is a little bit more creamy than the the concealer. So now I'm going to take the kabuki brush, a small kabuki brush, and I'm going to wet it because that was dry. So I'm basically just trying to buff the product into my skin. Hmm. I feel like I could go a little darker. So I'm going to take shade two apply that to my forehead see how that goes that contour is not as bad it's not that bad at all actually I love the contour a lot more than that concealer a whole lot more than that concealer that's a really nice contour it, it blends in really really well really well easy to work with you won't be fighting the contour shade and the brush is not doing a bad job either at blending it out. I'm noticing the contour is blending well with the Beauty Blender, but that concealer girl is not moving. It's not doing anything. It's not moving at all. It's very stubborn. It's staying put. She does not want to incorporate herself with this makeup look. She wants to stand out and be her own individual thing. So this is how my complexion is looking so far before I add any products that aren't included in this kit. This is how it's looking. Like I said, the contour is not bad. It's just that concealer under the eye that's just not blending. I'm going to set my under eye concealer with my Sasha Buttercup. Let's set this bad boy. I really don't even want to set it because it's not cute. <laughs> And there's so much creasing and when you apply setting powder to creasing it just amplifies it so I'm already knowing how I'm gonna be looking after this all right so I'm gonna let that bake finish the rest of my makeup and I will be back I'm gonna go back into that highlight stick and use the shimmer highlight to highlight the areas I would normally highlight well, let's just hope for the best for this stick cuz it seems like it's gonna go on pretty smooth It's a really pretty color. It's very subtle. It's not like your, you know, super bright highlight. It's like a barely there highlight. I don't know if you guys can see it. Mm -hmm. It's starting to separate. I don't know why, but it's starting to separate, which I don't like. I really had high hopes for this highlighter, but it's not, it's not doing it for me. <laughs> I really had high hopes for the highlighter, at least the highlighter. It's like literally separating right here. I'm definitely not leaving a house today. No ma'am, I'm not looking like this. So like no matter what I do, it's still separating. And I'm not understanding why. Look at that. It's literally, it's literally separating guys. I'm not exaggerating. So that was another fail. <laughs> I'm going to, I'm gonna just keep going. Like I'm not gonna stop. You know, we're not gonna give up. We're gonna keep going. See, it's pretty on the tip of my nose. That's cute. Why didn't it do that? Okay, I totally just did that so cricket. I'm still going at it, y'all. I'm just trying to get it to blend. Like, can, I, can you just blend? Like, if you would blend, I would be okay. Okay, so for my eyes, I'm gonna use the number one shade and use this for, I don't know why, I'm just, I'm just going in. And I'm gonna use this as like an eyeshadow for today. My face looks so so bad right like it looks so bad y'all y'all know I don't do my makeup like this and I was trying my hardest but it just doesn't it's, it's just not it's not working out so for my lips I'm gonna line it with pitch by Colourpop so unfortunately I don't own the KKW lippies none of that like her cream lippies but I do have some Kylie lippies and their sister, so I'll keep it in the family. I'm going to use, which one am I gonna use today? I guess I'll do King K. Let's do King K. I haven't worn her in a while. See what she looking like after all these months. I'm gonna go in with Rain. 
just on the outer corners. All right, y'all, so this is the completed look, and now I'm gonna tell you guys my thoughts on the KKW Contour Kit. So let's talk about the tool first. So the dual ended brush with the Kabuki and sponge. Although it's super cute and it's, you know, cute, <laughs> I honestly don't feel like it's necessary. If I had to pick a better tool, I would say the Kabuki works a lot better than the sponge. The sponge is an epic fail. Like they need to go back and re redo this, reformulate it, um, maybe just exit off all, all together. Out of a scale one to 10, I rate the tool. I give it a two, sorry. All right, so let's talk about the highlight stick. While I do love the idea of it, I love the fact that it's um, like that on the go type of vibe. That's what I'm getting from it. I love the fact that, you know, you put it in your purse, you can take it with you. I do love that concept. I am not here for the formula. That is all. And also the shade. I feel like this shade is way too ashy for most brown skin tones. So for this to be the deep dark, why do we have a peach shade now if you're gonna make a concealer shade for dark for dark skin tones generally I believe it should be more of a golden yellow tone not orange um, or peach that's something that we color correct with so unless this is a color correcting kit there should not be an orange or peach shade to highlight with I don't know one brown girl who highlights with an orange or peach shade unless we're color correcting so I think they got it a fail for that. I don't know if they have any black girls or dark girls or brown women of color working in their lab or departments, but they really should consider that the next time around. You know what I'm saying? Just have like a couple of us in there. We'll let you know, girl, this ain't the move right here. Like somebody just let them know. This ain't the move. Also too, it, the, the formula of it, I feel like it should be creamy just like the contour. If you're going to make a concealer, most people are going, are going to apply the concealer under their eye. Under the eye tends to be a general problem area. So if your concealer doesn't blend well, it's going to crease and it's going to be uh, patchy in the under eye area because that's where we have most of our fine lines and stuff like that. So I feel like it should be a more creamier uh, formula more a uh, more creamy consistency that way it blends better because even on my hand it's when I blend it in it's patchy now the shimmer highlight I do love the shimmer highlight I think the color is really nice as you can see it gives you a nice glow I give that about a an eight I feel like it's very doable very workable I love it now the cream concealer I give that a zero it gets no love over here because it showed me no love when I applied it to my face. They really need to go back in the lab, start from scratch, okay? Redo the vision board and add some black girls in the lab with you so we can get this right the next time around, okay? Now for the contour stick, I love the contour stick. I think it served its purpose, it contoured. I do like the fact that it has two shades. The shades to me are however, like one or two shades between each other, if that makes any sense. Like, it's like one is like two shades darker than the other and the other is two shades lighter. Um, while that's fine and dandy, I feel like maybe they should put, I don't know, maybe something that is, cause they're both, they're both very similar. Like that's both, that's both swatches right there and you can barely tell the difference between the two. So I think maybe instead of doing two dark shades, maybe a dark shade and maybe um, a sculpting shade, like something that's a little bit darker than your highlighting concealer that you can just sculpt with. You get what I'm saying? Like something that's more skin tone related. Not too light, not too dark, but it's like right on the money. But I absolutely love the formula of the contour shade. I love how easy it was. Um, I was able to blend it into my skin. It looks good. So I give the contour shade, the contour shade, the contour stick a, what do I give it? I give it a nine. It served its purpose and I'm not mad at it. So overall, I think the kit is okay. It's not the best thing on earth. It's not the absolute worst. It's not the absolute worst. There's just some, some of the products in there were just fails. But um, there were some good products in there too. So if you if you're gonna have to choose whether or not you should buy it or not, I don't think it's worth the money. 
because it's it the products aren't sold separately if they were sold separately that'd be a different story but the simple fact that they're sold in a kit girl that means you know you're paying for the kit and if you can't use all the products then it serves no purpose okay so 48 dollars well spent no i feel like you definitely are paying for the name you're paying for the hype and you're paying for the anticipation that's what i feel like listen to the brown girls listen to us when we say the shade does not work for us we kind of know what we're talking about just we just kind of know what we're talking about when we say peach it's not what we highlight with at all i'm just gonna sit here and, and speak for all black girls and brown girls that we don't really highlight with peach i don't know no black girls who highlight with peach i don't this is my review and this is my face and i overall i give my face a five and i give her contour kit a five all right y'all that is the end of the video let me know down below if you've tried the kkw contour kit are you here for it are you not are you just like no let me know down below and give this video a thumbs up i'll see you guys in my next video Bye.